Hey guys, I have another paint review for you. Um, this is the paint that Mary Ann was using on Happy Paper People. I showed you the one that Candy was using on her live. And both of them, their paints were so vibrant, I just had to buy it. Because it's a lot vibrant than a lot of others I have. So this is Pelican, P-E-L-I-K-A-N. And all of the paints are written in here. Um, it comes with a deck wipe, Chinese white cube of paint. But you get all of these beautiful colors. And I think there was 24 colors in this pack. And here's the bottom row. So let's, let's sample these and show you what we have here. I really thought that they were just coming out beautiful. And since I do a lot of Florida landscape paintings, the colors just jumped out at me. Oh, look at this. Holy moly. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Wow. I love these blues. I really love them. Wow. This is awesome. This is the one I can't wait to see how it does. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay, for you purple fans, it's a nice purple. Very vibrant. I was, I'm so happy they were showing these and told us what kind of paints they were using because these are a game changer for me. Wow. Let me see. I'm hoping this is a skin tone. Yes, it is. Nice. Very nice. So, let me see their browns. If the browns are as good as the other pack. Oh, nice. I just colored right over the skin tone. Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. So, these are going to be my two go-to now. So who knows, I have a whole lot of watercolors. They may be in some of my giveaway boxes because I'll be using these. Wow, yeah. I love them. Let me check their oranges. Oh yeah, that's orange. Mm-hmm. Uh, the red. Whoa. Yep. That's brilliant. That's the shade. Oh, wow. Wow. And there was something I wanted to see that would do. Um, let's go with this one. And then, I want to see if I can, um, yeah, I'll put this one in there, get it to, it doesn't grab it like the, um, Artist Go does. You have to actually put it where you want it. The Artist Go will grab it and pull it through. Yeah, this one's not grabbing it. But it's still beautiful color, so. And it also doesn't clear back off the brush like the other one does. But it's still gorgeous colors. I will love them. Let me try this one. And I 
I'm only doing this for effect right now because I never put it on this thick. But I wanted to experiment with something. Nope, it doesn't grab it, but you can turn your paper and make it move. Which, for painting papers, that's fine. But if you're doing a theme, you're not going to be able to do that. But it's still absolutely gorgeous colors. And believe it or not, we see this color right here in the Florida sky a lot. Yeah, it just runs right over top of the other color. Shoot. But that's okay. Let me try add it to the top of it now. It spreads a little, it does, but you, you can see the pronounced line, so. Yeah, I have to tilt the paper to get it to go. And it, you can tell it's been tilted, so. Well, shucks. It'll be good for just the base coats, so. though. And then I can use the other pack of paints to do my runs and stuff then. To just mix my colors. Um, let's try some of the yellows and see how they do. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, that's a very lemony color. That's two different shades. They're pretty similar to me. But I like them. Yeah, I don't see a lot of difference in those shades of yellow. Do you? But it's okay. I still need to paint. Alright, let's see what some of the greens look like. I don't think I did test the greens. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. It's a bit foresty, but kind of crayonish foresty, not realistic foresty. So, yeah, I like the other one better. But for painting papers and such as that, for arts and crafts, you know, not for actual painting scenes and stuff, I wouldn't use this, but for painting papers and ATCs and backgrounds and stuff for um, whatever I'm going to make. Yeah, I would use the head count of it. I love the colors. I love the vibrance of the colors. So I would definitely, I will definitely be using a lot of this. And I like how it's opaque, that, um, the other, and just say it was opaque, the other colors will shine through. You can layer it and still see what you put underneath it, so I like that a lot. Because that would make good for underwater scenes. This is perfect. Yeah, I like it. It's going to be perfect. Let me see, did this one here? And a little bit of this shade up here. Yeah, it's not, see that's not showing on top of it. Change brushes. A little bit. A 
let that dry off a little bit. And I couldn't tell you what this is. It's all in German, <laughs> but that's for this set here. And it, again, it is Pelican, P-E-L-I-K-A-N. And I also found this on Amazon. Let's see how good. I lost my paintbrush. Let's see how this one does. This is their black. Oh yeah, it's very elaborate. Very easy to go on. And the good thing about this one is it pretty much will stay where you put it. It's not going to run. Whereas the other one, if you touch another paint that's still wet with it, it's going to run. This one's not. It's going to stay right where you put it. So they both have the good points and they both have the drawbacks, but I like them both. I really do. I like the colors a lot better. So, and I was laughing at Marianne because her hands were so painted up the other day. And I did a video before physical therapy on the other side, the artist robe set and I washed my hands but apparently not good enough because I got the physical therapy and I said oh my god I got paint on me <laughs> so yeah that was a little embarrassing I right, just isn't going to dry fast enough so this goes on really wet you have to get it really wet to get a vibrant color but you know it'll work it'll do the job and this one will probably turn into a candy paper, too. That's why I'm cleaning the dust with it. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, guys? You like it? And this is also on Amazon. And no, I'm not sponsored by any company to show you these. I did have a couple of... I do still have a couple of diamond art that are sponsored that I need to make videos on as soon as I am able. Ooh, I really like this color. This is a gorgeous color. Oh yeah. I really like that. I like that one a lot. Let's see, once you touch that black, it smears. So, you got to be careful with this one. But that's cool. Like if you're doing painting papers, it doesn't matter anyway. So, yeah, I don't think I swapped, swatched all of them. Swatched all of them. Let me see. I don't think I did this one. But yeah, I think I did do this blue. So, yeah. I like them. I like them a lot. So I really appreciate Marianne and Candy sharing their information with us. And guys, go to Amazon and check them out. It's Pelican. And they, both companies do have smaller sets. So you don't have to get the big sets. But like I said, I do a lot of watercolor painting. So I got the larger set so that I would have a variety of colors. Now with this set also, you have to be careful because if you look, You'll see where I've got some blue on the orange. I have to come back with a Q-tip and clean that so I can use it. With that set, it didn't matter. It, it stays where you put it. It didn't smear. So, what do you think? Oh, yeah, and I don't know if I showed you or not, but this top. Well, these little things right here are all, you know, cups that you can mix your paints in if you want to. Alright, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me in doing some watercoloring soon. Bye-bye.